here i have used neo 6m gps module as you can see over here and we have used sim 800 c gsm module first you should do is to test this device individually you can check my previous video how to interface gps and gsm with the arduino that will give you a fair idea how to use this module and so now we'll connect these two modules with the arduino and we'll see the result okay that we have to make this connection we are using lcd over here 16 by 2 to display the latitude and the longitude okay so after making this connection we'll write the code for the same so let's open our arduino ide your arduino ide and copy this code and paste the code in the arduino ide you can find the code in the description box you can go and check it out as you can see over here we have used two software serial pins okay so when we use two software serial pins the arduino gets confused i will explain you with an example what i am trying to say suppose you have to listen to music right when will you try to listen to music at the same time you will get confused this is what happens with the arduino so when arduino will try to communicate with the, these two software serial pins simultaneously the arduino will get confused so to avoid that what you can do you can stop the second music first and listen to the first music right and in case of arduino you can stop the software serial 2 pin first and listen to the software serial 1 pin first right now what again what you can do you can stop the first music and listen to the second music again right and in case of arduino you you can stop the software serial 1 pin and listen to the software serial 2 pin right i hope you understand what i'm trying to say so we'll see the code in the code what you can do whenever you are trying to listen to the two software serial pins at the same time come to void setup and write this line over here gps serial dot listen this is a very important line otherwise it will not work only okay so in the code what i have done i have started the gps serial communication over here i have told the arduino to the, listen to the gps serial first now after that we have written a function over here text gps this will grab the latitude and the longitude okay now we have told the arduino to start the G gsm serial communication and in this over here in place of xxx you can replace a 10 digit mobile number okay and this will this link will be sent on phone and with the latitude and with the longitude okay so there is a big reason why i started the gps serial communication first not the gsm because suppose we have started the GS gsm serial communication first so we will be getting this link and in place of latitude and the longitude we'll be getting 000 why because we haven't started the gps serial communication right so this will send first this this will send the message on the phone and in place of latitude and the longitude 000 and after that we'll be getting the gps la location right so to avoid that first listen to the gps then the gsm right now we'll see how we can interface both these module with the arduino in the hardware right as you can see on the screen we are getting the latitude and the longitude and this is the gps module and as you can see the gps module is connected with the satellite and this is the gsm module and as you can see the LED is blinking after every 3 seconds that means we are in the range with the antenna and this is the Arduino and we have also used one I2C module for the LCD over here so as soon as I press the reset button over here on the Arduino so this will give me a text on the phone as you can see over here we should get the message in the form of text As you can see we got the message over here now I'll just open this and click on the link over here okay now click on open this will take you to the Google Maps and you can see uh, the direction over here so this is how you connect the GPS and GSM with the Arduino